tragedy on the Sandy River we first told you about yesterday. It has water rescue crews reminding everybody to wear a life jacket if you're on a local river. An eight-year-old boy drowned at Oxbow Park. This is his picture, not far from the boat ramp and a life jacket kiosk. Our Amy Frazier is going beyond the headlines live along the Sandy River. Amy. Well, today I spoke with a mother who helped get life jackets at Oxbow Park. Her son died in the Sandy River back in 2015. The tragic scene yesterday at Oxbow is the situation she knows all too well. An eight-year-old boy was visiting the park with family when he suddenly disappeared underwater. Water rescue crews later recovered his body. They say he was not wearing a life jacket. In the summer of 2015, 13-year-old Aaron Peters of Port Angeles was at the park with a leadership group when he and others decided to wade across the river. His mom says there was a drop off. He was swept under and died. His family worked with the park to install the life jacket kiosk that's now there. Aaron's mom says she's heartbroken. Another child has died, but she hopes sharing their stories will help save someone else. I really do encourage them to you know, use life jackets because, you know, we, once they get pulled under, there's no saving them. But at least if they have a life jacket, they have at least half a fighting chance. We also met with members of the Gresham Fire Water Rescue Team today. They say the water is still very cold. In the low 60s, the water is murky, and there are those sudden drop-offs into deep water. The current is also strong in places. All, again, important reasons to wear a life jacket. You'll he hear more from them coming up tonight at 5. Reporting live along the Sandy River, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.